In this video, I'm going to let everyone know what I believe is coming next for Kill Team. Let's get this said right up front. I have zero insider knowledge. Everything I am about to say is speculation and educated guess, informed assumptions, and nothing more. However, with that said, I am also sure that everything I'm about to say is 100% accurate. You know I'm joking, right? Let's get the obvious out of the way first. The rumoured Kill Team Inquisitor expansion. A few months ago, in September, I think, there was a supposedly trusted source that posted on a forum referencing Commanders, Rogue Trader and Inquisitor. Two of those have come to pass, but the rumour got the release dates wrong, saying that Blackstone Fortress was going to release before Rogue Trader, which then, due to leaks, had its release date swapped with Commanders, I, th I think. Still, it was wrong. However, it's also our best bit of information about what could possibly be next due to Games Workshop's infamous lack of caring about keeping its customers informed. Now, at this point in time, that single post on a forum had been the only mention of the Inquisitor expansion. What is the likelihood of it being real? Well, on the one hand, it sounds like it could end up being remarkably similar to Rogue Trader. A set of static, non wargear swappable characters with their own new datasheets that can't be mixed into the rest of the game. But, we already have that with Rogue Trader. They wouldn't just do that again, would they? Blackstone Fortress, you say? Pulled a rogue trader on us, you say? Crikey, I suppose they did, didn't they? Okay, but they wouldn't do it a third time, would they? Yes, yes they would. Uh, and, and what a shame that is, let's be honest, because an Inquisitor expansion is the perfect time for ultra customizable data sheets, not just with war gear, but with which miniatures can be in a kill team along with other miniatures. Games Workshop has shown that it's okay with faction crossing alliances and have made it core canon. No longer is this stuff relegated to obscure fluff and fan fiction thanks to having a Crute and an Eldar in Blackstone Fortress. That's an impressive step forward for the possibilities of just what Games Workshop is willing to do. But wait, take a step back. Games Workshop has also been absolutely adamant in the past few years of destroying every datasheet that doesn't have its own dedicated model. So, the likelihood of us actually getting a super customizable Inquisitor model seems incredibly slim. I mean, they could do it. They proved that with the Space Marine Captain a few years ago, but that was a single body with a lot of war gear. What are the chances of a multi-aesthetic, multi-pose, multi-war gear model? None. You know what, let's not even speculate, because it's a waste of our time. My speculation slash wish listing is this. We get an Inquisitor kill team, right? Whatever form that takes. It's going to be a rogue trader deal, all fixed. I'll put money on that, fine. However, however, the rulebook is going to include rules for, I'm doing air quotes, but you can't see it, inquisitorial war bands, effectively mercenaries. It's going to be the Merc expansion. Something to the tune of, if you want to take a model that shares a keyword with your main faction, then it costs two extra points per model, but if you want to take a model that doesn't share a keyword with your main faction models, then it costs four extra points. Something like that. Some mechanic like that. Or maybe, perhaps it's a new specialist. The mercenary. So it takes a specialist slot, and you're at minus one leadership, but you can take a single unaligned model. Something. I'm grasping at straws here, guys. You know, admittedly, straws I've already thought up. I'll admit, because, you know, I've given the idea of mercs uh, a lot of consideration. But still... Grasping, straws, straws, grasping. Now this leads us to the second part of this expansion. When we look at what is missing from Kill Team, what's the first thing you think of? Hmm? Okay, okay. 
think about the current narrative of the entirety of 40k. We're on Vigilus. All the factions are converging upon it, right? And they all have their little fluffy reasons to be there, but the overarching story is that Vigilus is the entrance for a safe corridor of travel from one side of the Cicatrix Maledictum to the other. We already know that Chaos are invading, and they have just released a new Raptor hero model, right? And they've, they've confirmed, what is it, 80 days? And we're getting new Chaos? Big stuff. And what are the only factions missing from Kill Team? Hell yes, we're getting demons, guys. They've just, they are, they are releasing tomorrow Roth and Rapture. That's Corn and Slanesh. They've already blown their loads hugely all over Nurgle, but that's very Nurglish, so it kind of makes sense. And I'm sure that Zinch is going to get something soon, although those models aren't as old as the others were. Come on. It's the only logical choice. An Ordo Malleus Inquisitor needs demons to fight. And who else do we know is coming soon? Why, it's only the most righteous, loyalist faction in the universe, the ones perfect in the narrative to finally muster their forces to save Vigilus from the overwhelming chaos incursion. Sisters of Battle. Narratively, it all makes perfect sense. I mean, even from only what Games Workshop has officially told us is happening. The Inquisitor expansion makes sense to be released alongside it. But of course, in what form, we don't know. Demons are literally just another book they can sell for Kill Team, as all the models exist. But I think it's more likely to get a boxed Inquisitor set a la Rogue Trader, and basically get full Kill Teams for all the Demon factions. Then. Sisters of Battle will release a few months later, completing the factions for Kill Team. Right? Okay, you know what? I got a little bit wishlisty with the specifics there. Who knows? Because maybe it's just going to be a book. Maybe they'll just give us a rule book and say, there you go, Inquisitors, make your own. That hasn't been their business model lately. But who knows? Also, I genuinely think what I wishlisted there is what's going to be coming up next. Inquisitors. Demons, Sisters of Battle. I think we're going to get all of that in 2019. On a minor side note, it has also been speculated that the original email in the forum thread was incorrect and that actually it mistook Blackstone Fortress for the Inquisitor's expansion. And so perhaps there isn't an Inquisitor's expansion coming because that was Blackstone Fortress. And so everything I've based my speculation on Not a thing, because Blackstone Fortress has already hit. Even if that is the case, I maintain my stance 100% purely from a narrative perspective of where uh, Vigilus is going. Anyway, what do you guys think? Have I missed something obvious? Do you disagree and you think they left demons out of Kill Team for a bigger reason? They have, I will point out, mentioned on on their social media that the reason, the official GW reason for leaving Demons out of Kill Team to date has been because Demons aren't very covert mission-based, are they? Now, I don't know about you guys, but I can easily think of a dozen different reasons that a small number of Demons would be coming through to hit a certain objective. That's not that weird. You can fudge pretty much any law reason And if you've already got all the different factions converging on a single planet for reasons that frankly don't make sense, then you can put demons in specialist hidden objectives. I don't think that's a big deal. Anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts, but honestly, you've heard all of mine now. You've had the week. I have no more thoughts. My brain is empty. It normally is, but it's extra empty now. So anyway, I hope you have all had a great day and you continue to have one because this is Glass Half Dead logging off.